Lewerke. D'Antonio very quiet this week, said we'd know who was going to take the first snap when that snap was taken. Meanwhile, Austin Carr, Justin Jackson, two of the bell cows for Northwestern, and Jackson rips off a 29-yard gain here in the first to put Northwestern within seven. Jackson, 34 carries, 188 yards. Northwestern still down by 10. It's Thorson to Austin Carr. Get ready to see that early and often throughout this one. Thorson, 27 of 35, 281 and three touchdowns through the air. And then the worky gets welcomed to the Big Ten in emphatic fashion by Joe Gaziano. Mm, it's the hurt. safety. Northwestern would add a field goal, 19-17 at the break. Start of the third quarter, just four plays in. Thorson to Flynn Nagel. I'd say, Howard, that was a busted coverage. Yeah, it was a busted coverage and one of the things they've really been struggling with all season in the secondary for Michigan State. 57 yards, Northwestern up 26-17. And then Thorson doing it with his legs. Second game in a row that Thorson has accounted for four touchdowns. It's 33-17. Tyler O'Connor, your turn once again. And how about O'Connor in relief off the bench? Goes for 281 and three scores. This one fortuitous to R.J. Shelton, 59 yards. Shelton, by the way, had 190 yards receiving and two touchdowns. And if you think 59 yards is good, <laughs> I give you 86. <laughs> Stan, that is a beauty of a throw. It's an unbelievable throw. Play action pass up over the pocket and let it go. And R.J. do the rest. Spartans are within two. On the ensuing kickoff, you simply have to hold the momentum. Mm. Play some defense. Yes. Make sure that after the funny bounce, Solomon mm -hmm. Ball doesn't find himself. Oh, coverage. no. Where's the coverage team? Didn't. Stay in your lanes. 95 yards. Fourth kickoff return for a touchdown of Ball's career. And the Wildcats right back on top by more than a score. It's 40 31. And then on third and nine, and this was an issue for Michigan State all game long, unable to get off the field on third and fourth downs. Northwestern 11 of 20 on such conversions. And on fourth and six to cap it off. Seriously. Thorson, Carr, you know it's going there and you still can't You know stop the it. ball is going there, don't you? How would I just said that? And they still couldn't stop it. 54 to 40. The 54 points most allowed by Michigan State ever in East Lansing. And how about Northwestern? This is a team that scored seven points, <laughs> seven, seven, against Illinois State in the uh -huh. second game of the year. Yep. In their last two games against Iowa and Michigan State, two teams that have had two of the best defenses in this conference over the past half decade, they've scored 92. Ooh. A big reason why Justin Jackson, who is standing by with Lisa Byington. Justin Jackson, over 30 points in your last game and over 50 points in this game. What is difference? What is different about this offense? Uh, we got confidence. Guys are making plays when it counts. And, uh, yeah, we're just going out there playing together. And like I said, like those third downs, those critical plays, we're getting them. And that happened in the first half and the second half, and that's why we were able to put up some points today. How much instinct do you use in your running? I mean, you use your keys, you know, the things you're coached to do. But once you're out there, things are going 100 miles per hour. You're most of it's instinct. Um, you fall back on your fundamentals and you just go out there and play. And I think when you're thinking you're not as good of a player, you know, when you just go out there and you're playing, you're much better. So that's what I try and do. You know your quarterback, Clayton Thorson, awfully well. Your roommate's yeah. with him. You work with him yeah. so much. What's been different about him in the last two games? He's great to see. I mean, he's so confident, not only in himself, but in the guys around him, you know, in the wideouts, us protecting him, you know, keeping him standing up and not getting hit. So. You know, that's the type of quarterback he is. You know, he goes out there and he fights every single down, every single play, and he's got so much talent. And you guys are just seeing this now, but we saw this all summer, him working, him working in the offseason, getting mentally ready and physically ready and, you know, paying dividends now for us. All right. Thank you. Thank you.